Hi, today we're going to be taking a Boston review look at UST Spark Force. Mini Flint Sparter with Lanyard Fire Starter. So I picked this up at Walmart for about 8 bucks. It looks just like the one that Bear Grylls sells. Except Bear Grylls, I've seen his one, you get about the same thing. His is costing like 28 or 32 bucks. It is super expensive, his one. I mean, the only difference, his says Bear Grylls on it. And I think you might get a little whistle at the end of the landlord, which is not the best whistle. I mean, you could go out to probably dollar store and buy a whistle. You could buy a whistle at Kmart, Walmart, probably Target, Sports Authority, Dit Sporting Goods, you know, and get a better whistle than the whistle that comes on, you know, the Bear Grylls one. Which I think is kind of ridiculous, considering how much his stuff costs, you know. Just for a little Flint fire starter with a sparter, you know, you're paying like 42 bucks. Because I've seen some places that went 42 bucks. I think Walmart is here like 28 or 35. I mean, it's expensive. I could get the same thing, pretty much the same exact thing for 8 bucks. It has the same type of housing, you know, one end has the little sparter, the other end has the flint rod. You know, the same type of thing, the two-part corrosion system, the net lanyard. Only thing that's, minus, that's missing is, you know, the whistle. And the fact that it doesn't say Bear Grylls on it. Because I looked it up on, you know, uh... I looked up, looked it in stores. Like I said Walmart's usually where I see the Bear Grylls stuff at. So I would just learn and say, okay, Bear Grylls, you know, you want like 32 bucks for this, and all you come with is a little cheapy whistle. Okay, go down you know, the camping aisle because his stuff is usually around like the uh, hunting aisle, you know, where there's fishing rods. Guns, ammo, BB guns, you know, and that aisle was the knives and stuff. And the other aisle was, you know, just like camping stuff, like camping stoves, camping forts, propane tanks, sleeping bags, tents, you know, that aisle. Which is where I had to find this at. So, you know, the price difference. <coughs> This is high performance foot base bar. We night a wide range of tinder sports can be generated in rain or other advised weather conditions. Strikes is built into the camper. Into the camp will protect the front help to prevent accidents or other technical sports. High visible orange ABS case will attach linear. <clears throat> Instructions for use open. Case and hold metal striker against foot rod. Apply pressure along rod to create sports. Direct sports downward into prepared surface to unite tinder. You know, it's kind of simple. I mean, how can you not know how to use, you know, a sparter? So to kind of have it a little tangled up here, just kind of undo the little nut. Yeah, so here's what you get. The rod and this piece of metal that's just in there. And here's how it goes in. One has the hole in there, one has the slot, so you know that's how it goes in. And you hear that little snap, so you know that it's close. The lanyard, uh, 
it's kind of small. I mean, if you're going to wear around your neck like a lanyard, I mean, you could get around, but if you have a bit head, no. So, my advice is just, you know, get some paracord. And once a paracord in there, because obviously you could, because that's kind of what they did with this. And just wrap it while you're not, until you have a good fit. And then you could put it on and off your head, and do that. Because like I said, this little lanyard type of paracord is not going to fit while you head, you know. Go while you're not, so you can have it there. I don't know, maybe, you know, you're gathering timber, you don't want to have it in your pocket and lose out your pocket or uh, your backpack. Or maybe you don't want to, which, like I said, if you have a bit head, the best thing that I can recommend, if you don't want to go out and use the paracord, just put this around your belt loop. Let's say, uh, here's your belt loop. You know, you just put it around. Kind of tie it. And kind of make it like a sheep shay or a hitch knot. Or just even tie it as a wet or not. So that... You know, it could kind of hang on your pants, on your belt loop. Or, undo your pants, you know, if you have a belt, slide it in your belt, and have it that way. So that you know it's secured on you somehow. I mean, if you're going out in the woods and you have to use it, I'm coming with ideas, you know. Maybe you don't want to put it in your backpack. Maybe your backpack has a hole in there. Maybe your pocket has a hole in there. If you have pants, you know, with a belt loop, and you have a belt, put it on your belt. Put it on your pants, belt loop, if you don't have a belt on you. So the first couple times, you know, it's going to take a little while to get going because you got to scrape off all this black protection on here. So as you can see, I'm starting to scrape some of it off, so. Because that's kind of what you want, you want it to be exposed. So I say before, you know, you go out and take this camping or hiking or hunting, do this at home, just kind of scrape it off a bit. This way when you're out there, you have it way to go, so. Whoa! They kind of jumped back and almost got me. So just to kind of prove that it will work, I'm going to get some little kinder going here. And as you can see, fire! We have fire going. Oh, fire. So yeah, simple, simple little thing. Just... Uh, if you hold it, why well, ain't no? Whoa! <laughs> I almost said something on camera that I didn't want to say. Yeah, the O S. H word, <laughs> yeah, cause that was like the best spot that I had ever seen with you know these sliders. You know, I call them lighters because they kind of are. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Fire starters. I had the magnesium, you know, wad with one end. It's kind of like a little sway, a saw blade that you gotta sit there and saw off that little blit, and then turn the other way and strike it, which doesn't give out that much sparks. I had the uh, UST one that, you know, if you have to pull your arm or your hand, you could take it with one hand just push down to ignite the spark, or slowly push it with your thumb to ignite the spark, which that seemed to work pretty good. I like that one. And this one, wow, you've seen it, it just falls out a bit massive. Sparks. Ow! The tip got a little hot, and I think there was a little bit of a spark on that tip. 
So let's uh, kind of do that again to show how easy and how fast. And is you're in a situation that you need a fire start fast. This is going to work. So. And you can see it's full spoil out here, here, and about here. And I was way over here. So it follows a pretty good generous amount of sparks. And the sparks are pretty intense. But like I said, I tried a couple different fire starters. You know, the magnesium blot, you know, where you got to scrape that block and then, you know, strike the other side. The uh, other one from the UST that you just push down, which is almost about the same size body. All you do is just kind of push it down like this. And it creates a spark, which I recommend that one, you know, just to have on hand, you know, maybe for some reason you did break your arm when you're going hunting or camping or where you're taking this, that would be a nice little thing to have. Also, uh, this one I would definitely recommend as you know one first one, because you've seen how good it is, and usually I use the quickest tinder that I could find. Some tissue paper, tissue, cream nuts, you know, some cream nuts. Because, you know, it burns super fast. And like I said, with the other ones, uh, they didn't really burn that fast. I mean, it bur lighters, yeah, they were. It burns. This one lights about as fast as a lighter. The other ones, like I said, the Brit, I would recommend not going with the Brit. The uh, other UST one. I recommend that one and definitely recommend this one. So it strikes fast. You don't have to scrape off all that black protective coating on the, you know, ferro rod. Because some of the other ones, you gotta sit there and take all this black stuff and keep on scraping and scraping and scraping until you see all that silver, which takes a long time and stuff. This one, it does the job. It gets it like, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds from black to silver, way to use, and then the amount of sparks that it falls off, excellent. I mean, for only eight bucks at Walmart, compared to, you know, the $32 one from Glare Bear, Glare Bear, yeah, Glare Bears one, Glare Bears, 32 bucks. UTS, eight bucks. We don't see nothing wants this one. Maybe the lanyard and the whistle. Like I said, whistle. Just go to any place, buy a whistle. Come on. For the lanyard, just go to like maybe uh, Michaels or probably um. I really don't know if Hobby Lobby would sell it. I mean, they should sell it. I usually find them at. Michael's the paracord and just made a paracord so you know it'll fit you while you're not if you're gonna wear it while you're not or you know if you want to make a strong paracord and maybe tie it to a bracelet for some reason or something like that so yeah that has been the unboxing review of UST Sport Force Mini Flint Sparter with Lanyard Fire Starter. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.